Hello guys, Dennis here and welcome back to another episode of Patreon. Uh, let's turn that off because this is very loud. Uh, we are cooking some meat because I was running out. And um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So far, my morning has been pretty good. Um, let's, uh, it's, uh, 6 a.m. for me right now, so, yeah, morning, morning. Um, let's see, what did I wanna, oh, I was supposed to prepare something. Ugh, I forgot to prepare it. Anyway, today, I don't wanna keep working on the keep because I feel like we've been working quite a lot on it. Um, I've mostly finished off the guard building that I started. A little while ago. Uh, let's see, we're just gonna take a sip of coffee. Uh, coffee. Mm. Uh, a friend of mine um, reminded me yesterday that I don't need a debit card. I can go to the um, something called uh, here in Norway, it's called um, Posten. Which basically means the mail. <laughs> and um, they have a um, deal with the bank that I use. Uh, so I could go there and take money out. And I didn't know that. So <laughs> we went together yesterday and walked down and uh, got some money for me. So I got myself brand new coffee oh it's so good and i also got some food um although i didn't buy smart i bought a pizza because i've been living on soup for the last few days and uh it, it was just so good with something different I, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do like we could keep on working on this building or we could start Something I want to place right there and Maybe we can do a little bit of decoration right here. I've been working a bit on this um, stream Thing because I uh, I just thought that it would be good to have a little bit of detail in here uh, so I'm thinking that we could basically go in and do a little bit more work around here and get a little bit more of good things going, basically. And uh, I think maybe that's what I want to do this video. Go in and add a little bit of details and uh, make it a bit more uh, walkable, if that makes sense. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's see, I just want to here with that one I've just been to the end uh, spending some time at my end render um, my friend told me yesterday that he sometimes watches my videos and he's not quite sure uh, what the different things are um, so a um, uh, and, and that kind of made me realize that maybe I have a few other viewers who's not too sure what an end render is or what a super smelter is or uh, the different farms that I have that are pretty basic. Um, he hasn't been playing Minecraft for a couple of years, I think. So he's really out of the loop. Like. Um, if you're that out of the loop, no, it's it's fine if you are. I mean, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, this farm is basically just a kelp farm, and kelp you use for two reasons, or I use them for two reasons. Um, you can use them for food, like you can cook them and eat them. Or you can make them into blocks and use them as fuel 
in uh, furnaces because they will, I don't remember the numbers, but they will melt quite a lot of items um, at one block before they need to burn another one. Uh, so this is dried kelp block. Um, you need to melt them up like I'm doing right now, and then you will be getting dried kelp, which you can make into blocks, and then throw into the furnaces. And the super smelter works in the way that um, you, you throw your fuel down here, be it uh, coal or kelp or wood or whatever you want to use as fuel, you throw them into this uh, minecart right here, and then you throw the things you want to melt down in this uh, in that minecart, and they will go on these rails and fill them and fill these furnaces up on each side. The back one fills the fuel, the top one fills uh, the item you want to melt down, and that's basically that machine easily explained um, and then we have the end render which is uh, quite a bit far away but we can take a look at how it works uh, just in case my viewers don't know how it works because I made it off screen I didn't really explain it when I when I made it I just went with it because it, it's a poor excuse of an end render. It's not as good as it could be. It's, um... It, it wouldn't be good to make it on video. I'm, I'm going to make a new one at some point. But it's not yet. I, I'm not sure when it's gonna be. Uh, we're just gonna take a sleep right here. And then I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Ah, okay. Let's see. Cup down. Hand on keyboard. Okay. So, this farm um, is basically just for me to get easy, easy po uh, experience points uh, because I have uh, I have mending on some of my tools, which you, you can't get that in uh, an enchantment table. You need either to fish it or get a villager, which has one. Uh, we will make a villager breeder at some point and um, be able to get all of the um, trades that we want. Especially now, uh, since we are in the snapshots, uh, we are gonna get the new villagers, which is coming in 1.14. Uh, there we go. Uh, so I have act oh pop 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 uh oh. okay that was scary um I didn't fly that's fine that that's why I go here I need to reload the world of course Petrium there we go This happens to me from time to time. Not often, it's not frequent, but it does happen. And I completely forgot what I'm talking about. Uh, oh no. Oh yeah, the villagers. Because we're in uh, the 1.14 snapshots, we are gonna get, um, ac we have access to all of the new villagers, which makes it a bit easier to trade, in my opinion. It's, um, yeah, it's it, it's easier, uh, in in my opinion, and that should have brought more rockets. But you know what? It's fine. Um, so here we have the end render, the uh, Enderman kind of fall down, and I need to kill that one because I managed to anger him. Uh, but um, they will spawn on top of here, uh, and they will fall down here. So let's go to the top. And take it. Let's see if we can get this guy over here. Uh, 
There we go. Come on. There we go. Now we should be without anyone who's angry at us, right? Should? Let's see. No, oh, we have one guy that's pissed at us. You know what? That's fine. That is fine. Let's just get on top of here. And take a look at this part of the end render. Uh, so he, right there, in the middle there, we have a Endermite, which can be spawned from uh, Ender pulling around. Uh, there's a chance they will spawn. And if they do, uh, you can name tag them. Uh, this guy is named number three. And um, then they won't despawn, basically. And place them over this hole, and you should be good on not uh, on on getting them falling down now if there had been more endermen up here um they would be pushing each other off the edge here uh like 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 so come on they would be pu pushing each other like that down and um yeah, that's that's basically it. I'm not sure why they don't get yeah, like that, like that. They're they're pushing each other right now. Look at that. Okay, uh, so that is basically how the end render works. Um, they will go for the endermite because. By, for some reason, it it angers them. It, uh, the Endermites anger the Endermen. I'm not sure why that is, but um, they do. And um, yeah, I think that is that the farm that I have. Um, we also have this AFK fishing farm right here, uh, where I just basically. Uh, if, if I had a fishing rod, I don't have one on me right now. Um, I would be standing here. Uh, I would be uh, pushing this because this is a note block. Uh, so it would just go like so. I I'm holding the button in now. Um, and the pressure plate would fall down, so I would kind of throw the fish, uh, the hook. I would throw the hook right here, so that it would uh, give the pressure plate some pressure, and um, it would go down, like so, um, and um, whenever I caught something, the plate would go up, block my hook for a second, so that uh, I can uh, reel in whatever comes up, and uh, it would go into this hopper, and uh, go all the way down to this chest, which is now empty, but it will go into that chest. I wonder, have I emptied them? Um, I haven't emptied them all. I have a few stuffs here. Cool. Um, yeah, then I would just spend a whole night standing right there, uh, presumably using my old microphone stand to uh, put it on a um, button on my keyboard. And I would go into controls and use place, change it to, for example, uh, and keypad enter, uh, and have pressure on it, and I would just go to bed. Uh, before uh, there was a glitch that would make it so you could have a um, sticky key, basically, and um, you just you could just go on and do something else, play something else while it were AFK fishing in the background, uh, but uh, that doesn't work anymore, so they fixed it. That's kind of annoying, um, but uh, I think I have one more blacksmith, basically, which I want to take a little bit of a look at. Now I'm completely out of rockets. I need to go back to Ignestead, where I have more rockets. Um, 
but I think I have a few more uh, farms over here, not a few, just a couple. Um, we have that one, the vines. Um, I'm, I'm actually starting to like this. I might, I may come back here soon. I don't think it would be a bad idea, idea to come back here and keep working here. But I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh, this is still going. It's been going for I don't know how long. Uh, so here we have the same type of um, super furnace, but it's blast furnaces instead, which is a block that comes in 1.14, which makes it a whole lot faster to melt down metals. Um, we, we don't have anything in them right now, but... Um, oh, no, why did I do that? But, uh, I think it, yeah, it, it's a whole lot faster mm, to melt down a lot of metals. There's also a smoker, which makes it a whole lot faster to melt down, um, food, and that sort of thing. Um, so that's cool. Uh, I think maybe we're gonna go through the nether to get back, yeah. Um... But yeah, that's uh, basically all the farms I have. I also have a kelp farm, the same one that I showed earlier, uh, over at where we just were because I don't remember the name. I need to come up with a new name. But yeah, that's uh, basically the farms that we have. I don't really have any other big farms, if that makes sense. Okay, so now we're back in Everdon. That's awesome. And I don't have another tunnel over to Enestead because it's thousands of blocks away. I may set up a nether portal at some point, but I haven't done that yet. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it. For now, we have this one, uh, which I'm planning to do something with. Oh, a little bit of lag, that's okay. Okay, now that we have gone through that, that's actually something I were waiting for episode 25 to do, but, um, oh well, oh well, um, let us do a little bit of work in the area here, I think that could be useful, um, we have a little bit of stuff here, we're gonna go ahead and grab those and grab those. Do we have a crafting table? We do. Perfect. Now I don't need to craft another one. I think I have two or three in this keep already. Just somewhere. Because I keep on making new ones. Uh, but what I want to do is I would like to make a little bit of a bridge of some sort. Uh, so why don't we go ahead right there. Uh, we go like... So. And so. And then maybe we could go right here and just go something like so. And then there and there. Maybe there, there. Yeah, that seems about right. And then we go uh, in and remove that one. And we go in and remove that one and get it a bit more like so, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and take a sleep. I think we're actually uh, soon out of time for this uh, episode, but that's okay. We can work on a little bit and uh, try to make a little bit of a good looking small bridge. Uh, so we're going to go something like this. Oops. And there, we don't really need a bridge, we can always just jump across, but this is for the aesthetics of the area. Uh, then I think I would like to make some... Um, uh, fences, maybe? Maybe. I mean, why not? 
Okay, and then we're gonna go in maybe right here, maybe right here, right here, right here, and maybe right there. And we're gonna throw in the green ones because I think it would make it look a bit more wet in a way. And then I'm thinking, is it right here? It's right here, okay. We're gonna go, I don't have any oak blocks on me. Let's go and uh, here we go, here we go. There, there. Okay, so the middle one right here, which is right there, there, and then there for a little bit of support. Right? I think that's good. Then we're gonna go right here and just add a little bit of uh, wood right here because I think that could be um, kind of good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Come here. There we go. And then maybe right there, right there, there, there. And then we're just going to go in and add a little bit of there, maybe. Oh, come on. And then a little bit of oak planks as well. And then, of course, a little bit of... In my opinion, uh, I think that having jungle planks is kind of important because they're they're kind of mossed up wood, if that makes any sense. So if we go like that, and maybe we go right here, and right here, I think maybe that'll make it look a bit better in my opinion opinion yeah but I don't think the spruce would really does anything for us here uh, so I think maybe we're gonna go in where all of the spruce wood is and go with uh, jungle uh, wood mostly uh, so maybe something like that and then we can go like this as well just a turn a bit. I think that would make it look a bit better. Yeah, I like that. I like that a whole lot more. Uh, and then I'm thinking we could go there, there, and just have a little bit of these guys going right here. I think that would be good for us. Um, so I think maybe we need a bit more. Nope. Why do you change so fast? Come on. There we go. There. And like so. I'm thinking. I think so. And then I'm thinking a bit more. Oh, we can't actually make more because we're out of... Okay. We'll just go like that. Thank you. It's nice to just have some more. There we go. And then I'm thinking uh, we could go with a little bit of lanterns, the new ones that has come out with the snapshots. Uh, I think maybe I have them right here. There we go. Uh, and just throw one down on each of these, and then one on each of these. And then one in the middle, right there, there, and then we'll just go, I think it needs to be one more, one more tall, that's fine, that is fine, uh, we'll just go there, okay. And 
end right there. Then maybe we could go... Some, something like this. And then we could go on this side and just um, get this one down like so. And the same thing on this side right here. There and there. How does this look? It's not the worst I've seen. I've seen a lot worse. I've built a whole lot worse. I like it. It's good. It works for this. Uh, because I'm gonna want to add a bit more details around here anyway. Excuse me. I want to add a bit more details around here anyway. And uh, this can kind of set the type of detailing I would like to have around here, you know? So maybe we can have a little bit of something over there. Maybe we can have a little bit of something here. Uh, maybe a little bit of seating arrangement right here or right there. Uh, j just having a few things that can make it a bit more interesting. Because I want to make it as interesting as possible, you know? Uh, but I think that is all I have time for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and uh, Most importantly Don't forget to have an awesome day Now we'll see you guys in the next episode Okay Bye-bye